Hello everyone. Today we are going to design a square footing. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design a suitable footing for a 500 mm by 500 mm square column. The size of the square column is given as 500 mm transferring 600 kN axial load. The load P in the column is given as 600 kN. The safe bearing capacity of the soil is 120 kN per meter square. QS is given as 120. Use M15 concrete and FE 250 steel. FCK is 15, FOE is 250. Adopt limit design method. The first step in the design is to assign the size of the footing. Let us assume that the sulfate of the footing is 10% of the total load. So we will get 60 kN. To get the load W, we have to add these two. After adding, we will get 660 kN. Then using this formula, we can find the footing area. We will get 5.5 meter square. We know that in the square, the area formula is B square. To find B, we have to take square root of this. We will get 2.345 meter. Let us round this as 2.4. So we are going to provide a square footing of size 2.4 meter by 2.4 meter. The soil pressure Q will be P upon area. P is the load in the column. Area we know B square. We will get 104.17. It is less than the safe bearing capacity of the soil which is 120. In this case, the size of the footing is adequate. Let us find the factored soil pressure. We have to multiply this with 1.5. For QU, we will get 156.25. Now we are going to find the factored bending moment. We need to find this cantilever projection. The side of the footing is 2.4. And the side of the column is 0 0.5. 2.4 minus 0 0.5. We will get this distance and this distance. But we need any one of them. So we have to divide this by 2. When we do that, we will get this cantilever projection as 0 0.95. Then using this formula, we can find the movement. Using this formula, we can find the effective depth of the footing. Let us see how this formula comes. We have to take this IS code book, page number 70 and then 96. Our FI is 250. So XU max upon D is 0 0.53. In this formula, instead of this, we have to apply 0.53. Finally, we can derive this formula. M max we have calculated. B is 1000. FCK is 15. For the effective depth, we will get 178. But it is a very small value. Let us randomly keep the effective depth as 280 and the overall depth as 350 millimeter. Now we are going to assign the reinforcement in the footing. In this code book from the page number 96, we can take this formula. Now we can apply all of the values. FCK is 15 and FOE is 250. The effective depth D is 280 and P is 1000. Finally, we will get this equation. Using a calculator, we can solve this equation. For AST, we will get this. Also, we can find AST minimum using this formula. For AST minimum, we will get 420. Our value is greater than that. In this case, we can proceed with this AST. Let us provide 12 mm diameter bars. Using this formula, we can find the number of bars per meter length. We will get 11.06. 
we can round that as a 12 spacing per meter length will be 1000 upon 12 we will get 83.33 we can round that to 90 so in both of the ways let us provide 12 millimeter diameter bars at the spacing of 90 millimeter now we can find the correct AST this is the area of this bar into 1000 upon the spacing finally for AST we will get this this is the AST per meter length now we are going to check for a shear stress first let us check for one way shear the critical section for one way shear is located at a distance of D from the face of the column this is the critical section it is located at a distance of D from the face of the column we need to find this distance let us split the footing into two parts from the center. Let us take only the left side part. This distance is B by 2, that is 2.4 by 2. This distance is D by 2. D is the side of the column, which is 0 0.5. This is the effective depth D, which is 280 millimeter. We can convert that into meter, so it will be 0 0.28 meter. So to find this distance, we have to subtract D by 2 and D by B by 2. So 2.4 by 2 minus 0 0.5 by 2 minus 0 0.28. Now we can find the shear force Vu. The formula is Qu into area. Q u we know that we need to apply the area of this side for unit meter length so 1 into this side which we have found just before for v u we will get this we can convert kilo newton into newton using this formula we can find tau v for that we will get 0 0.37 let us find p t which is 100 ast upon b d for that we will get 0 0.45 let us take this code book page number 73 our fck is 15 for 0 0.45 we need to find tau c we don't have the value for 0 0.45 0 0.45 comes between 0 0.25 and 0 0.5 for m15 these are the values let us note them then using interpolation we can find tau c let us open this code book page number 72 the design shear strength for concrete shall be tau c k k is having these values our overall depth d is 350 if the overall depth is 300 or more k will be 1 so tau c into k will be 0 0.44 into 1 we will get 0 0.44 Newton per millimeter square. Tau C K is greater than Tau V. So the section is safe in one way shear. Now let us check for two way shear. The critical section for two way shear is located at a distance of 0 0.5 D from the face of the column. So these distances are 0 0.5 D. Let us find this distance that will be 0.5 plus 0.5d plus 0.5d. We can keep 0.5d as a d by 2. So 0.5 plus d by 2 plus d by 2. So for this distance we will get 0.78. We need to find the shaded area that will be 2.4 square minus 0.78 square we need to find this perimeter that is 0.78 into 4 we will get 3.12 meter we know the formula to find vu q u into area we will get this then we can convert kilo newton into newton using this formula we can find tau v now let us open this code book page number 58 and 59 when shear reinforcement is not provided 
the calculated shear stress at the critical section shall not exceed ks tau c ks is 0.5 plus beta c ks should not be greater than 1 beta c is the ratio of short side to long side of the column we know that both of the side of the columns are 0.5 so beta c will be 0.5 upon 0.5 so it will be 1 for KS, we will get 1.5, but it should not be greater than 1. In this case, we have to keep KS as 1. Tau C is a 0.25 root of FCK. Our FCK is 15. For Tau C, we will get this. KS is 1. So, 1 into Tau C, it will be 0.96. Tau V is lesser than Tau C KS. So, the section is safe under two-way shear. Here you can see the reinforcement details. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.